We're going to start with an opening statement by Coach, and then we're going to leave everyone here for the duration so that you can have um, questions with Coach and have the players follow up or vice versa. Coach? Um, we're, uh, we're very glad to be back here today and um, be able to play another day. Uh, we think uh, the University of Kentucky is a great team. We have a ton of respect for them, and uh, we can't wait to get out on the court on Tuesday night. And um, But we're excited to be here. I'm going to open it up to questions now. And everyone knows to use their name and affiliation. Coach Doug Farmer, the Associated Press. Hey, Doug. I know it's probably not that big in the scheme of things, but I know you guys played them in a close scrimmage in the preseason. With a young team, how much does that help sort of give you a chance, okay, we can be on the same court as them, that we're, we're not so bad, we can play with this team who's seated second and one of the top in the country? Well, first, I don't think, and I don't want to speak for them, that's probably a better question for them, but I don't feel like we're intimidated by, by them, and I don't feel that... I think it helps that we have a, fir a certain familiarity with them, but that was so long ago too. Um, but I mean, it was a pretty competitive scrimmage, and uh, it was it was good for both teams. I think we both got a lot out of it. Um, but I don't I don't think there's any like awe or you know any like oh my god, what do we do on Tuesday? Um, they they do certain things well, we do certain things well, and and I think um, you know it's going to come down to who executes on the court. But, I mean, that's a great question for them. Of course. Same question to the players. Uh, as he said, I think uh, being on the court with them, knowing that it was intense and uh, the tempo of the game it is something that gives us a familiar feeling, but we're not intimidated and we're just happy that we fought through what St. John's threw at us, and uh, we know it's going to be much of the same. So we got to keep our composure and go right back at them. Anyone else on the panel? <coughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what she said is an okay answer, <laughs> but <laughs> Jen. Uh, Jen Smith with the Herald Leader in Lexington. Uh, I'm wondering. What is the biggest concern with Kentucky when you see them on film? And, and, and kind of what do you think are the, the biggest challenges facing you guys? Well, I mean, it, the, it would be stupid if you didn't, you know, understand that, that we didn't handle the pressure real well St. John's threw at us, and that's all Kentucky does. I mean, so let's call it what it is. And, and we're going to see a lot of pressure. And um, if we can handle it, I think we have a shot at being – Victorious, and if we can't handle it, you know we'll be flying home Tuesday, having a great year. It's it's really that simple. They've got some great players offensively. They do a lot of stuff. We have to be on top of our game defensively. Um, they have you know a ton of all Americans on their team. We understand that, but you know we can do certain things, and and uh, and so we're excited about the opportunity. I'm wondering about if you've seen a post tandem like Walker and, and Stallworth in a, in a game together, and kind of do you feel like you, you have a, 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 and if you've seen that or haven't seen that, like how do you plan to kind of go against them? I don't know if we've seen. I think they're pretty talented, and, and they're long and they're athletic, and and. Uh, but. Um, you know, I, I obviously we have to we have to keep them off the low post and and try to keep them out as far as we can, and and O boards are going to be a concern. And we and you know it's it, we've been talking about boxing out since I recruited them, and and um, so I mean it's something we have to do. And if we can be again, it, it it comes down to execution. If we can be fundamental and if we could keep them off the boards and we can control boards, then then we have an opportunity. Additional questions? Uh, Tom Archdeacon Dayton. J Jim, I'm wondering, did you recruit uh, Walker at all? Or yeah. And uh, how, how did that go? Not, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she, uh, I, I, think, I think she thought I was a nice guy, um, and, and she liked talking to me sometimes, but I don't think she was seriously considering our level 
And, uh, you know, if it was between me and, and Gino and Dayton and UConn, she picked the latter. Um, so, uh, but, but that's, that was fine. She was very nice when she told me she was going to UConn. <laughs> yes, we did. Got the same response. <laughs> One more, Samari Walker. Uh, Sam, she, uh, Samari was in here before, and afterwards she says she's known you since eighth grade or something. And just uh, what, what is that relationship, or how, how does uh, you two get to know each other? Sam's the mayor. Sam knows everybody. <laughs> uh, Samari, I had the opportunity to play with her in AAU, and uh, we got to know each other pretty well. Um, Samari and I are both pretty blunt with uh, how we feel. And uh, we like that about each other. So um, it's always been fun and intense, and uh, we've always competed against each other. So it's it's fun to be back on the court with her. Um, wish her the best of luck. Coach, I'm wondering if pressure has. You, you mentioned the St. John's pressure got to you guys, and, and that's how you gave away that lead. It, and then I saw you had 30 turnovers against Mississippi Valley State in the opener and 28 at another point. Has, has pressure, team pressure you been a problem this season? Or is that are those anomalies? or? You made me very sad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's all right. Um, I don't remember 30 against Mississippi Valley. I'm going I'm to scream. I'm going to scream at Sam after the, the, the press conference. Um, I, I, you know what, I, I think um, in the beginning of the year, um, we were still figuring stuff out. And, um, and I think we won by like 30 or 40 that game. So, and, but, but um, you know, we're really young. And, and um, there are times when that youth rears its ugly head. And, and sometimes it's at very inconvenient times. Um, but uh, I think, you know, I think we had 17 yesterday. Uh, and, and, you know, I think St. John's is fairly athletic and probably more athletic than we are. And, and I thought that, you know, there were critical times we could have handled it better. And, and I mean, it's, I'd be lying if I sat here and said it wasn't an issue. We, we definitely have to handle it, absolutely. And, and they're smart guys. I mean, the guys at Kentucky know. And they're going to be at, they're going to be after us from the jump. I mean, it's going to be, they're going to smell blood right from the beginning. And it's up to us to take care of the ball and beat them at their pressure and score against their pressure so they take it off. Doug in the front, and then over here. Sam, I know it's out of your control what you guys were seated, but has there been a chip since it came out that you guys were the seven having to come here and now playing a team that's number two, or is maybe you guys could have been higher and not have to deal with this right now? Uh, obviously, you know, we, we wanted to be higher, um, but we weren't. And when you look at the bracket, no matter what, we're gonna. If we keep winning, we're gonna have to play them eventually. So why not second round? Um, it's. It is what it is, and we've accepted the challenge. I mean, we weren't real happy about traveling to St. John's and playing St. John's at their home court, but you know, it's what it is, and we took care of business yesterday. So now we're going back to work and uh, give Kentucky our best shot. Uh, this is for you also, Sam. You know, Jim talks about. Kentucky smelling blood, and they're going to be after you from the time you get off the bus and all this stuff. So uh, you're in the middle of it. You're the person that has the ball and brings it up. Well, what's that like? And do you like that, or are you? Uh... Um, <laughs> well, I I love having the ball in my hands. Uh, I definitely, if we're going to turn it over, I'd like it to be myself. And she's had a lot of practice at that. <laughs> <laughs> Being I on couldn't the resist, Sam. I'm sorry. I, I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Being on the court with Kentucky in the beginning of the year, I, I didn't put a very good effort out. So I'm sure that gives them even more motivation to come at me. And it's going to be my job to help the post get the ball in and, and control the tempo. So uh, it is what it is. I'm going to try and get the ball the best I can and, and attack them very quickly. All the way up in the corner. Thanks, Lee. Lee Howard with uh, CBS in Lexington. A question for the players. 
Kentucky said that they've changed quite a bit, and they probably said that you guys changed as well since the scrimmage since you guys played in October. Would you guys agree with that? And, and in what ways have you guys changed? I think we've uh, grown and matured a lot. Uh, we're a very young team. We're the sixth youngest team in the country. And um, I just think that throughout the course of the season, everybody gets better. And I, I do agree. I think we have grown a lot. And I mean, obviously, we had n none of our play sets, um, either team. So that's a big factor in games. Um, and like she said, just we've done a lot of maturing as a team, the younger girls, the older girls. and um, so. I just, I just think it was the first time that we actually took the court together against somebody else. Um, and our chemistry is what we pride ourselves on. So it's something that's definitely grown throughout the year. And it'll be interesting and exciting to see the differences between both teams. Sorry for hogging the mic, but. Hey, uh, Sam, also, uh, just going back to yesterday once, right at the end of regulation when you drove the length and, and scored, I mean, you just knew it's up to me now or what What? What kind of, until they came back and got the score, but what, what were you thinking there? Uh, I was thinking that there was a guard running very quickly at me, trying to trap <laughs> me with 35, and that my only option was to try and go by 35. So once I got down there, the lane opened up, and... The girl jumped on the pass, so it was not necessarily the plan, but that's what happened, so. You should just leave it there and pass it. Jim, you guys love getting up and down the court. Are we expecting a game in the 80s or 90s tomorrow? I mean, a high score, and this could be a, a good for fans who love offense type game? Well, we do like to play like that, and, and – uh, if uh, K Kentucky, you know, helps us out with that and lets us run up and down, we will. I, I think, um, you know, I think it's going to be it's going to come down to us managing uh, the basketball and, and, and making prudent decisions with it. Um, I think if we can make advanced passes and, and get the ball down the floor quickly, that's our best option. And that's what we're going to talk about and work on today. That's what we watched film with and talked about t today, this morning. And um, I, I don't think teams that are tentative do well against trapping pressure that that you see and and I think our mindset has to be we have to attack that pressure because if you can get past that first line now you things open up because they put a lot of pressure on the ball so if, if and so we're going to attack the pressure or what we want to do is attack pressure on the dribble or on the pass instead of backing up we want to go at it and and, um, and maybe cause you know, foul trouble, get get loose for some layups, but we 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 want to play fast. Is it tough to simulate what Kentucky does and when you get one practice between these games and is this something you've already kind of prepared for or are there any ways that you have or, or plan to simulate it? Our poor coaches have to practice against they're the pra <laughs> they're the opposing team and I think Coach Whitaker is so sore and tired and beat up right now. Um, I don't know if she can simulate that. And I, I don't I don't think there's any way in our program that can simulate it. And and so it's gotta be more of a cerebral thing. I mean we have to understand what's coming and how to handle it and, and, and attack it the best way we can you know the biggest thing for me is uh, and we talk about this all the time in our players is we have to be mentally tough we have to be able to walk on the court and say hey you know what we're just as good as you and today whatever happens is going to happen I, whatever you did last year or the year before doesn't matter it's like about right now and 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 if we accept that challenge we take open shots we attack and, and we're very aggressive with nothing to lose, then, then that's how we want to play. If we're tentative, now it's not just Kentucky we're competing against, but we're competing against ourselves. And, and I think half of the reason that they press is to intimidate you and, and to, you know, to get you on your heels. So we don't want to contribute to you know, their plan and, and be complicit in it. So we have to attack them. Anything further? All right, well, I'm sorry. 15. Technically, the locker room's open for the next 15 minutes. If you guys have any further questions, just coordinate it with Crystal. 
Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs>